I, I wanted to, to hear you elaborate on the tone of the film, the, the way you end it, it's so quiet, and, and the, you know, the, the, some maybe the influences you had, or there's this real confidence to that. So can you just talk about um, that? Well, one of that, part of that came out of my relationship with editor Maria Rosenblum, and uh, the time we were able to take in the edit room. Um, you know, she's unpaid, I'm unpaid, we have lives, so sometimes we'd edit for an hour, <laughs> sometimes we'd edit for one day a week. It took a little while. Um, and we were able to sort of find the rhythms that we wanted. There was actually a much louder ending. Uh, that sauna was supposed to catch fire. <laughs> we actually have footage of Nyan and Talia running into the sauna. But anyhow, to, to rescue each other. But it felt false. It was about the quietness was the brave moment and the sort of revelation. Um, you know, again, this sort of inverted structure and inverted emotional experience. I always wanted to go up the mountain, um, and because my husband was kind enough to shoot this, and with a camera we have stuck, we, we keep her in the house, I could periodically drag him upstate and the kids upstate, and we'd get a second unit shot here or there. So we were able to, to sort of, that's, a, that's one of those odd luxuries of low budget filmmaking. You don't usually get to do that. <laughs> People are like, no, no more money to go back and shoot rotten tomatoes. You can't do that. 